if it wasn't for a guy like Mike Trout and a guy like Maven that's starting to, to you know, yeah. put himself on base for guys like Trout, I mean, I mean, his stats are crazy. He's, he's uh, leading the league in hitting. He's tied for second in runs. He's tied for second in RBIs. He's in the top 10 for hits overall. He's probably in the top five in home runs. Yeah. I mean, it's absolutely insane what this kid's doing. Let, let, me, let me give you. How do you not give him part let, of the let, franchise? Let me give you, let me give you a couple <laughs> of stats part that, that I read. So in Trout's career, he has 407 extra base hits, 506 walks. There are, at, by the age of 25, there are only three players before him that did that. Jimmy Fox, Mel Ott, and Mickey Mantle. Wow. And it's pretty good company. That's Mike Trout is in, and that's fair. Mike right. Trout is in that company mm -hmm. and yeah. will continue to be. I read today in hitters counts this year, 00, 10, 20, 21, 31, 30, right. 21 for 41 with three doubles and six home runs. Wow. He's automatic. Yeah. He's automatic. So in his in his first year, his rookie year, he had <laughs> ten and a half, ten point five wins above replacement. When it came down a little bit in thirteen, nine point nine, seven point nine, back up to nine point two in, in twenty fifteen, ten point oh in twenty sixteen. He's at eleven. He wins wins above replacement. He keeps getting better. There's a great uh, article on five thirty eight dot com that. The, the title is Mike Trout somehow found a way to get better. And he is he is on track to have uh, on pace for new career bests in almost every offensive category. Yeah. And we and yeah. next year we'll pay him thirty two million or something crazy and he deserves every penny. Absolutely. That's right. Yeah. You did it. Yeah. You know, it just gets scary what's gonna happen when that has to come up again. So yeah, and, and, and if you do not, and, and Will, is he the type of guy, he doesn't seem like it, he, he doesn't seem like the type of guy who's going to get frustrated, he seems like a loyal guy, but what happens if he does get frustrated and say, I want you to put again, together a winner, they can't. Yeah. yeah, they can't with and the again, farm system and, 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 and what's going on right now, they can't. To terrible. Totally agree, and it comes back to, I think he understands, like he's like, I really believe in this team when the starting pitching is healthy. Like we got destroyed yeah. last year with the same thing. Yeah, good. Like you know, he's good. he's he's good a time. he's a big believer in the system. He's a big believer in this team, and he's a complete team player when we're healthy. But when you're, I mean, and that's where you know maybe it goes back to you know what Vince just said. You have no farm system. If you have a strong farm system for guys to fill these roles, then and and maybe we got a couple guys that just did that. But again. Um, I think we're very competitive when we're healthy. That being said, when we're not, we're mediocre at best, and it is showing. You know, so. I, my, my question would be, for, Trout is everything, right? So anybody who says, well, you know, we could get like seven, eight guys and rebuild the system, it's not worth it. To me, it's not worth it. It's no. not worth it. They're, they're not worth watching without Trout. What else can you give? Would you be willing? You should be able, willing to give anybody. I would say a trout. round trout. Try, right? yeah, right. Keep yeah. trout and just get rid of anybody else. Right? No, I would say no other untouchable. See, and that and that's where it comes back to it. Like when when guys bring up this this whole deal, like we could get seven or eight guys for trout. Well, guess what? Our scouting system's terrible because we have no minor leaguers, right? So now you're going to say, hey, look at what eight guys can we go get in the Yankees organization? And I'm like, do you trust these guys? Because you can't even put you can't even put a minor league system together. Now you're going to go go get and now you're going to hear this. Oh yeah, remember that trade back when when we we got rid of this guy and this guy and this guy for Trout? Look at these guys. They came in, they played for a cup of coffee, and now they're, they're nowhere to be found. That's scary. Like right. what? I mean, <clears throat> I I totally agree. Build around them. Keep that guy here until you start to see these oh, numbers yeah. go the other direction, yeah. and right. then try to sell them on his his you know his overall career numbers right but right now i mean the guy he he plays his position he he hits i mean he does everything correct he runs um and everybody i'll tell you right now everybody loves to watch that kid play everybody wants to play for that kid on that team and yeah and he's not a guy that uh you know uh takes it easier during the winter he's always improving getting better finding out where what his weaknesses are doing something about it he always strives to be better every single year. Yeah. And you and, just you hope know, that this, the light bulb goes on a couple of times when some of these kids, you know, and say, oh, that's what it takes. You know, for, for me, 
I, I see where people who don't want to see the Angels lose, they just don't, they're tired of losing. I get how their mind will wander there. But sometimes you just have to say, you know, be careful what you wish for. Just imagine what the next 10 years are going to be like oh. with this hall of, I mean, all he has to do is just stay right at this pace for right. a few more years. He's a hall of famer. Yeah. And these are hall of fame numbers. Yeah. Jimmy Fox, Mel Ott, Mickey Mail. The only other three guys that had as many extra base hits and walks by their 25th birthday. And he's going to get better. You know, he's, all he has to do is stay where he is. He can stay healthy. He's good. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. Stay healthy. Yeah. He's quite a. Um, yeah. They, they got to find know. a, they got to figure a way to get better without even entertaining the idea of trading Mike Treff. No, exactly. Well, and I, and I you, think you'll lose your fan base. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're going to be like, are you kidding me? This is the only guy I came to watch, you know? Yeah. So, and I think he, I think what you said was, you made a good point. He is a loyal guy. Yeah. He's a loyal guy. Um, I think he sees, you know, what's going on and he understands and realizes that you know, we're not healthy and sees the potential of what these guys can do when they're healthy. And he's just willing to uh, wait it out. Along, I think he gets along too with Socia. I think they have a yeah, good Yeah, they good have a good, so. they've got a pretty good relationship. And Richards is like his, one of his best friends. Yeah. So it's interesting what's going to happen to that guy. I don't know. Still, that's yeah. just, uh, very quiet about him. Nobody's talking there about hasn't, him. There hasn't, yeah, it's been so almost secret, cloud of secrecy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah you, you don't hear progress it's like, reports. It's like when your goalie gets leaving in the first period, and you don't know what he's, what the heck's going on until like three days later. Yeah. Oh, he had a hamstring issue. Oh, okay. You know, they're always telling you in the paper. Lower body about, injury. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they're always telling you in the paper or on the internet about what Skaggs is up to and what, uh, you know, yeah. Richard, uh, but not Richards. Nope. What, uh, it doesn't sound good. Yeah, I mean, if you're not hearing anything about them. Street, yeah. you know, everything about their progress, but very quiet on the uh, Richards yeah. level. Street. I don't know what's. He's probably on the street. Is he on the street? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.